All right, uh, welcome Twitch to another week of an adventure for beginners. I believe this is week, oh shoot, 90, 97. 97. 97. 97. I, I believe it's 97 because wow. I just was editing 96 together before we started. So yeah, we're uh, creeping closer to that 100, it's looking pretty good, and uh, we're off to a little bit of a late start tonight, but we're going to do a quick round table and then get started right back where you were inside the den of the Black Fang. Um, so, first person on my uh, little UI is Jimmy. Oh, hey. Um, Give us uh, one or two things. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't really have much. We were just at a wedding. Audrey and I, a good friend of mine, finally got married. He had been with her for a while and promising engagement for some time as well. And finally got around to doing it. And uh, so I'm a little... Little, strung out. little strung out. <laughs> um, mo half from the wedding, half because we, uh, well, half from actually having an evening wedding. It was like black tie, full tuxes. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, it was nice. nice. Um, but uh, we got a babysitter. A, it wasn't a complete stranger, but a, uh, a relative of a friend, basically. And Tristan had his first night alone with a stranger which we were like okay bye see you later and he did <laughs> he, he did uh he did pretty good but i mean we were he was in new york city for the first time where the wedding was so just like traffic noise and weird environment he did not sleep very well and we're all still recovering i think <laughs> yeah i've got to imagine traveling with uh with the little guy that age is, is exhausting <laughs> And by fun, I mean... <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, who's the next person? Cool, yeah. Kevin, who's, who's uh, next? Allison. We were going by your Oh, order. it's me. Allison's okay. Next. Um, I put in my two weeks notice at work. Um, yeah. So my last day is the 14th. Um, things are kind of weird right now, though, because there's a bit of a change, so... Like, with Fnatic and the Overwatch League, things are a little bit weird right now. So I might actually end up in Chicago for a little bit. And there's, like, a small chance that I might not end up in L.A. at all. I don't really know right now. Oh, uh, I, won't shit, know. I won't know for another two to three weeks. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting to find out um, what exactly, you know, what if anything changes at all, if we'll be going... To LA, and I'm hoping that you know the meetings in two weeks, and that we can go straight to LA and not have to do Chicago. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm just I, going I, with it. I heard there was a bunch of buzz about Overwatch teams. Like, was yeah. it buying a place into the so league you, or the tournament? So basically, the the information that's out there is basically what everyone knows, and it's basically like. There's going to be teams and basically, or there's going to be cities and teams buy those spots of those cities yep. and they bid on them. So, for example, like it's rumored that LA is obviously going to be a city and it's going to be like, you know, it could be 10 to 15 million to get the LA spot because once you buy that spot for your team, that's your team's city for all of Overwatch League. So basically everyone's rumoring that like Cloud9 is going to get it because they just got a ton of funding and a ton of backing and they have the most money right now to, you know, throw at it. Um, but no one knows anything about the other cities, what they're going to be, you know, do the teams have to live in the cities if, you know, once they bid on it and get it? Like if you're, you know, the team for uh, Atlanta, do you have to live in, in Atlanta? Does your team have to live there? You know, how how is it going to work? So that's kind of why things are up in the air right now. Um, so I have no idea. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, you know, my last day is the 14th and, you know, I might work as a contractor when they find someone to replace me to help phase them in. But otherwise I'm just kind of like, I already put in my notice. I already told my roommates that I'm leaving. So I'm just kind of <laughs> just doing it, <laughs> doing it live. Anxiously drink beer. <laughs> nice. Well, if uh, if you do end up in Chicago, let me know. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah. Emerald and I can come down and visit you for a bit. Yeah, man. We'll see what happens. Yeah, buddy. That's that's my life right now. Nice. Uh, Josh, what are you up to? Uh, not 
too much over here. Uh, the weather has not exactly been nice as of late. Luckily, I'm in one of the regions that wasn't fully affected by the... Uh, what's the best way to put this? The shitstorm that happened? Which in every sense of the imagination? Uh, well, North got hit by a cyclone. Oh. Um, Rocky, yeah. which is not that far, but it's still got like a couple of hours away, is getting flooded. New South Wales is just getting absolutely smashed. Um, on like last Thursday, that sucks. Like they're getting like flooded and stuff okay. in New South Wales. Um, on Thursday, I think so would be your Wednesday, I believe. Um, we got basically just rain nonstop, flooding. Um, basically I was on my way to work on Thursday and I got told to, again, go home because don't even bother coming in. Uh, just because the weather was that bad, all the shops were closing down because I don't want to get stranded. Um, so that's pretty much been as of late and the aftermath is still going because it's still like Rocky is getting creamed now. So fun times. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, sounds, don't don't float away, Josh. Weather, how does it work? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> tide goes in, tide like, goes out. I can't explain that. But besides the incident on Thursday, I've pretty much been okay from it. So cool, cool, cool. We're glad you didn't float away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I always pack emergency floaties. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Water wings in your pockets. That's what those cargo pant pockets are yeah, for. See. Damn. I, I, have, I have one, Travis. It's called a Labrador. <laughs> yeah, the problem is Puppy can't swim forever. I don't think Puppy can swim, period. <laughs> oh, she might All be dogs can swim. It's called the doggy paddle for a reason. Uh, I don't know. When she was small, she fell in the pool, and I don't think she really likes it. <laughs> well, Travis, what have you been going out using her floaties lately? Um, I have not been using my floaties, um, but no, let's see, God, it's been a long time since, uh, since I talked to you guys. Um, recently did some, uh, deer hunting, so that was fun. Uh, my uncle had some crop damage tags, so I went up there, um, while it was still cool, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and, um, uh, had a little success with my brother and dad, so have some fresh venison in the freezer, that's nice. always nice. Got some summer sausage and hot sticks made, so <laughs> delicious. Um, other than that, uh, not a whole lot here. Was watching the um, Wisconsin game, uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Sadly, we fell to Florida in overtime by one point. Oh, gosh. Jerks. Charles, I mm. felt for you. I had them uh, go in next to my bracket, and I was sitting next to a friend who had Florida going, and so we were battling it out, and... Wow, and that yeah. guy's a jerk. That guy's a jerk. <laughs> Tell him to leap off for me. Um, it's always one point. It's always one point. It's always one point. Yeah. It was great. Uh, uh, one of our, I'm pretty sure Show Walters Sr., hit a uh, three-pointer at the end of regulation to put us into overtime, and Aaron Rodgers was at the game. So yes. Show Walter did the title belt celebration and pointed up to him. So it was, it was pretty cool. It was a cool moment. I just wish we would have... Would have gotten the win then in overtime, but um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot new. I'm I'm over at the girlfriend's place right now, so hopefully everything is nice and stable for a game of D and D. I almost said Overwatch. <laughs> I mean, we could just change things and just go play Overwatch. Obviously, I mean, we could. It's an Josh option. will be on like 500 ping. It's fine. <laughs> it's a you can okay, play Mercy. I actually have Overwatch. No, Torbjorn. I don't have oh. Overwatch. It's like, yeah, just set oh. the turret and then just AFK. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I'll, uh, then you get to it. play the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'll round it out. I was two, or one of the weeks we were missing is my fall. I was out in Iceland on the vacation. It was uh, amazing, and I wish I could go back soon, but maybe someday. Uh, it was mm -hmm. wonderful. The views are wonderful. The weather wasn't actually very cold. It was uh, just hovering between probably 32 to 39 Fahrenheit the whole time, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. I know Travis is like, what? He has colder weather no. all the time. That's that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. Um, and, yeah, I got back and, uh, I don't know, cooked some chili this weekend. Um, I am <laughs> getting ready to 
demolish this uh, area behind me. So next week if we play, I'll be in a totally different space. Um, like literally demolish it? Like you're going to like knock down that wall? or The wall's coming down, the door is moving, and a bathroom and closet is going in. Starting next week. Nice. So, oh gosh. So yeah, doing all that, that yourself or contractor? <laughs> uh, a little, mostly contractor. I I don't trust myself to fit everything in, but I'm gonna take take part in some uh, good old dem demo work. Yeah, fudge how that feels the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah so the, I'm, the uh, easy stuff. The sledgehammer to the wall. The easy stuff. Yep. Yeah. I don't I don't mind uh, measuring and cutting and nailing, but you get electrical and plumbing involved, and I'm. I'm out. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I want to probably yeah. better. <laughs> I've, done, I've done electrical. It's not too bad. It is scary. Plumbing, no, never. Oh, please, no. Plumbing, never. get a contractor. Yeah, mm. always get a contractor. I will. Plumbing is stupid. I mean, it's amazing. Like you could be a plumber. <laughs> like, you could be a plumber yourself. Still get a contractor. Yeah, fuck that. I would not want to do that. I'll myself. Think maybe do a better job. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm doing. So next week I'll be downstairs in the dining room. That's where I'll be living for the next uh, three weeks or so. Nice, nice. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So Travis, please give us a quick recap in game, and uh, let's get let's dive back in. Yeah. So um, where last we left off, our intrepid adventurers had uh, made their way to what. Uh, what you suspect is the lair of the Black Fang. Um, you guys had trekked through a swamp after intercepting what seemed to be a, another um, uh, sort of a, a shipment of Black Fang extremists, um, a bunch of uh, jackal wares that were meant to go in and presumably cause havoc around uh, Ariadnish after the recent dragon appearance. Um, you guys managed to make your way through the swamp and uh, with the help of a uh, captured um, uh, hobgoblin, find a, um, a trap door in uh, an old ruin that was enchanted to be a little bit TARDIS-like. Uh, the, the inside didn't match the outside, and uh, through this small trap door, you stepped into a tunnel leading to a, a series of caves. Um, and as you came into those caves, uh, what did you find, Kevin? We, well, first we found the commissary, the cafeteria, if you will. Yeah, yeah. You guys uh, fought your way into a cafeteria full of... Um, uh, a bunch of dwarves, a bunch of deep dwarves, uh, the kind that uh, that Fawn and Thea especially dislike, um, managed to, to fight your way through them and uh, once again uh, talk to a prisoner for some information. Um, and what did he reveal to you, Allison? Um, gosh, that was the dwarf, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. I have a lot of notes. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but where did you find out that you were in general? Oh, no. Oh, no. You asked me the wrong questions. <laughs> what were the dwarves doing in here? Uh, a big hint is it's the room you're currently in. Yeah, so so this is the mine where uh, the ore and gems come from. So um, we know that they were getting these from the south and they were shipping them up north or whatever and then like up north is where they were pretending where this stuff was coming from um yeah. so they were kind of like trying to um set up this fake like middleman situation um she yeah no that that's about the basics of it yeah, yeah the, you you had found some information from uh, a um uh worker at a mine that you guys had visited um, up in the north of Ariadnish and found out that they were getting uh, shipments of uh, gems and ore that didn't come from their mines, and they were basically acting as uh, as launderers, trying to, to sell off that yeah. stuff, um, get a payment as the middlemen, and then uh, it looked like this material was coming from their mine instead of wherever you guys are. It was all fake. Yeah, so uh, so you guys went through, um, got into the mine itself, and it's this huge, like, multi-level pit mine. Um, it's going down circles and circles, and uh, and you found an old friend there that I think Durian would recognize. Um, so Durian. 
Uh, he has, I don't know if you saw the note. He has to be quiet because the baby's half asleep. No, 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 I'm here. I'm here. What's yep. up? So, uh, do you remember who you found in the mines? Someone from your long past? Mm, Nephany? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you saw um, Nephany uh, along with maybe one or two of the uh, the Grey Elves, um, which you haven't seen for, for quite some time back in Palatinus, um, along with a, a bunch of kobolds and goblins and a, a few orcs here and there. Um, they were working in these mines that were guarded by... Um, not only these dwarves, but uh, something else. Um, Nina, Josh, do you remember what uh, what else was guarding this area? Yes. Uh, constructs. Nasty, nasty constructs that we seem yeah. to kill the most of, but we're kind of surrounded by. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think that's where the, uh, the party will find themselves when we begin. But before that... I think we're treated to a, a little interlude. Um, I think we see uh, some. I think we see some um, like swampy area, and we hear the like thump, thump, thump of uh, heavy footsteps. And we see one of these constructs um, making its way quickly through the uh, the swamp. Um, again, these things look a little bit like this. Um, and this one is thump, thump, thumping up to. Uh, uh, kind of along a, a squishy, um, marshy path, and it's thumping up to uh, an old ruin. Uh, we see it's some kind of keep that has long, long uh, fallen to disrepair. Um, stones lay crumpled. Uh, an entire wall on one side is caved in. Um, there's this archway with um, uh, old, like, rotten wood doors that are just hanging off in... Uh, in tatters, and um, I think we see this thing um, thump up to uh, a set of uh, metal doors, rusted and pitted and corroded um, inside the wooden ones. Um, and we we see from like looking uh, behind it, it knocking on the doors, and uh, we see them open. Um, and there's a, a voice that comes out and says, "Yes, what is it?" <laughs> and um, we hear this construct say. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but it appears that Sir Durian and his party have arrived. They wished to speak with you. And um, and the, the construct moves aside um, and out steps a green-haired gnome uh, <laughs> looking um, into the swamp. He says, Durian and his friends never did learn how to let things go. <sighs> All right, you. Grab the guards from inside. I'll go get my little pet, and we'll say hi to my old friends. And um, I, I think we, we fade to black on that scene, and we come into uh, <coughs> the party in the middle of battle. Um, you guys are fighting these forged constructs, these dwarves, um, and I think we left it right where it was. Um... So it looks like the uh, the bowmen behind you, Nina, are um, kachink loading up their arms and uh, and pointing their crossbows at you. And I think you hear, um, surrender, and you will not be harmed. <laughs> they they give it's you great. a moment to respond. <laughs> Nina, Alia, do you respond? You are totally muted. You are hundred <laughs> percent muted. You are so muted; um, it's not funny. There we go. There you go. Um. So I don't have my weapon on me, so. No, I uh, think you dropped your uh, your scythe. I think yeah, these... I'm about to pick it up and take a swipe at someone. But in yeah. the meanwhile, what I might do if they give me a moment to respond. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, Everybody... they're like moving up and just like keeping you at at bow point. It's kind of like, a, do you throw your hands up or do you go for the weapon? Oh, I go for the weapon because screw these guys. Yeah, I think Let's they both let them. loose. Um, awesome. So we've got a... Uh, that was an 8. So we've got a 14 and a 23. I think the 23, well, the 23 hits, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you... Whoa, that's on the floor. Um, hopefully my girlfriend's dog doesn't get it. Uh, you take five damage as one of these, uh, crossbow quarrels sticks in your shoulder. I'll find that later. Ow. 
Um, and I think that's all of the bowmen that are left. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have kind of concentrated into two groups, so, um, we've got, uh, Nina and, um, Kendra kind of to the south of the map, and then sort of everyone else is kind of, uh, up along the ridge. Um, so cool, I think the dwarves are pretty much all dead, right? Oh, yeah, there's two, like... There's two alive, I think. Yeah, there's sure. one by Nina, and he just tries to pickaxe you. Whoa, let's keep these on the table, guys. Uh, and hits you with a 20, mid-20 something. Mm -hmm. Um, picking you for the... another 7. Well, he actually had the bows to swing at me instead of the lady that's actually threatening. Yeah, well, you're, you're disarmed, so. Um, cool, and then I think, I think the other guy just starts running out the tunnel. And we'll take <laughs> the usual... The Wait, like the tunnel yeah. where the Minotaurs went? Yeah, so they have left. Um, okay. They have totally uh, gotten the hell out of Dodge. And that's uh, the same direction the uh, first Warforged went when he said, oh, I'll go yep. get the dwarf or whatever. The gnome. Yep, exactly. Okay. These are good things to note. Yep. Um, cool. So, Fawn, you are next. Okay. Um. So I am... <sighs> Where is what's her face? I know. Okay, I left. Um, yeah, Thea's Thea behind. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So I am just going to have her double move um, to get as close as possible, so she can get okay, a little bit further. She can get uh, here, so she's just going to double move to get up there. Um, sure. obviously this thing is right in front of me. Um, I am going to attack the one that is directly in front of Durian and I. Nice. Um, Give me some swings. Pardon me, it's been a long time. Uh, yeah. So we're looking for... Okay, so Nashor's Tooth is going to be first, then Rod of Ice for this. Whoa! Ooh. Natural 20. Okay, so that's Ooh. for Nashor's Tooth. So I'm going to try and nice. confirm that. Uh, don't bother. You know these things can't be crit. Oh, that's right. They that's right. Monsters. Okay. Well, then this next one is for my rod of ice. So I assume both of those are going to Oh, hit. yeah. Yeah. You wail uh, on this thing. Okie dokie. So... We've rolled so many you should roll the damage quick because that might be enough to take it down. Uh, 2d6 plus a d4. D4 plus... I think it's plus 3... Make sure you add in plus two damage for each of those weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be plus seven total then. Nice. Oh, shit. It helps if I actually <laughs> type the slash R part first. There we go. 18 damage. 18, yeah, you take it out. Okay. Um, you batter this thing to pieces. Alrighty. Well. Even with it its damage resistance, you uh, get it. If I move, I don't get my full round, so... Uh, you can five foot step, so I think you can oh, go. Okay. You can straddle the corpse. Okay, and, uh, I will straddle the corpse, the and then uh, let's let's do this again. So this is for my uh, Nasher's tooth. That's not gonna hit, and then this is for my rod of ice. I don't think that hits. Nope. You you will on this one, but seeing its uh, companion go down, I, it gets its shield up. Yeah, I just did so well on that first one that I suck now. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Cool, so that's your and Thea's turn. Nina, uh, the action switches down to the south of the cave, where Nina and Kendra are still kind of surrounded. Yep, yeah, um, so Kendra's just going to beat this dwarf up. Nice. Uh, 20, 20 is a hit. Yeah. 8 damage. Oh, oh it's oh. it's damage. Did you um, add it's my... still alive. Did, uh, this did you guy add was plus... uninjured. Oh, God. Plus you're two. adding, you're adding bonuses, right? Plus two attack, oh, plus two no, damage. Um, so ten damage and thirteen, technically. These are macros, sorry, that can't actually. Sure. Happen. Yep. Um. So I'll I'll uh take the additional two damage off. Uh. But you don't hit him with a thirteen. Yep. Um. Then I guess I'll pick up my scythe and immediately begin to murder something else. Nice. Yeah, I begin to um, murder other things. <laughs> there's the injured dwarf behind you and a damaged construct in front of you. Okay. Um, 
Well, I'll go for the injured dwarf first. Fair enough. Uh, sorry. See if you get some cleave action on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 22? 22 is a hit. 2d4. I'm assuming you kill him. <laughs> uh, potentially. I've got to actually check something quickly. Uh, okay, actually, here we go. Can you can you deal less than ten damage? No, physically. Okay, impossible. then the then you, is you kill him. Twenty five. He's, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, your minimum is something crazy. So, yeah, my, my, my minimum without attack was twenty five. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's proceed to try and kill the guy who is in front of me. Yeah. So, what's it look like when Sorry. you when you cleave? Is it like a single long attack? Or are you like whirling your uh, your scythe around? No, uh, it's probably spinning around like a, like you would do with like a staff, except it's got a blade on the end. Nice. Yeah. So you just like bisect this dwarf vertically oh, and uh, and swing through. <laughs> you know that scythe's <laughs> a little slippery. You you did just pick it up from having dropped it before. Why don't you give me a um, uh, a d20? Let's just let's just get those rolls out while we can. Yeah, I I think the um you're like whirling around, and this guy like gets his shield into your arms and just knocks you away uh, so badly that you lose the rest of your attacks this round. Yep. All right, and that was you and Kendra, right? Yep. Awesome, Durian. You and Violet are up. Okay, so first, uh... Do stone cold killers. Uh, I don't... Two rounds? I'm trying to remember how I counted these. I think... Mm -hmm. I think on my next turn they'll cancel. Alright. Yeah, your, all your buffs and stuff? Yeah, because I've got... Caben has bonuses too. Yeah. Ongoing. That I've written down. Um, okay, so there's a construct in front of me. I have no memory of what weapon I had drawn as I moved around the rim. Crossbow? What, whatever, whatever you choose. I'm, I'm have, not going to be that picky at this point. I have my rapier, and I'm yes. going to thrust and parry. Nice. Uh, Give uh, him a good one. What ho? Uh, D20 plus 12. 12, sorry. 10 plus 2, yeah. Go. You know, you don't use your sword that often. Uh, give me a d20. Who does, anyways? You know what? Like I said, at least you'll have ah, you're, you're, you're fine. Time. You're fine. It's Get just like for, you forget what it. You know how it's balanced. Maybe a little beer comes out when you tip it sideways. <laughs> it's been six seconds since you last swung it. It's really difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So, do you have a second attack? I don't. I, I don't. I, I do. I can. Do I don't lose it. I guess because I saved. It's fine. No, your your save was fine. You're good. Yeah, good. Uh, so then Repost. it's post. Repost. Twenty three. Oh crap! Twenty three is a hit. Um. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I spoke too soon. Is that with all your bonuses on? Uh yeah, I added the plus two attack. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, its AC is twenty four. So oh. you just miss. Yeah, you you guys, I think, figured out what all the kind of the ACs were. So, yep, these big armored guys with the shields are 24. So you, like, you just get in there, and it, like, sticks through the shield attached to its arm, uh, but doesn't actually stab into its body anywhere. Um, okay. What about Ken or, uh, Violet? What is, what is our little pink-haired gnomish girl doing? Uh, she is going to shadow... Um... Uh, voodoo lady. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Wait. Yeah. One. Does she cast oh, any undo. spells? Uh -oh. oh god. I'm fine. I got it. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um. No, she does not cast any spells. No, there's. She's gonna move, but she's holding her move action to move in tandem with Mizuti, basically. Okay. Cool. I don't yeah, know what she wants to do though. <laughs> well, now's a good time to find out, Kaven. <sighs> Okay. You've been lobbing arrows from way the hell back here. I have, but my Minotaur targets, I wanted to shoot them next, and they're gone. Yeah. So, um, Kaven's gonna... Oh, and a dodge bonus on this dude, if it's not already active. Okay. Nice. Yep. Kaven's gonna look uh, behind him back to Nina and Kendra, and then with his last round of uh, super bonuses, he's gonna let loose a uh, rapid shot 
Nice. Starting with the uh, the one the sword guy with by Nina. Yep. So yeah, he's the most damaged, but you do know they have the highest AC. So. Right. So I yep. think I think this is my bonus. Boom! You hit him. Yeah, I don't okay. think I don't and think you can miss unless don't you flare with energy, point. but you do right. get. Uh, do you get bonuses for constructs? I think it was just dragons and it's giants. Dragons, right? giants, and I think. Uh, orcs. Nice. Yeah, not constructs. We never really fought with okay. orcs, but whatever. Yeah, so d just regular damage, so just five. Okay. No, you get you get an additional oh, I'm plus sorry. two plus, damage. Uh, plus two, so seven damage. Nice. All right, you deal it some damage, but not much. I deal it one point of damage. All right, next attack, uh, same target. Uh, thirty. Hit. Okay, so. Roll better. Uh, let's do another. Let's put the bonus in this time. Ten damage. Okay. There you go. All right. It is still alive. Okay. Uh, as much as it was before. Um, but pieces are like starting to fall off. Smoke's coming out of its back. Okay. The last last shot will be the same target. So. Twenty nine. Twenty nine is a hit. Okay. And eleven you, damage. You destroy it. Yes. It is gone. Yeah, Good. so Nina, you, you're, like, fighting this thing. It's, like, pushing your scythe away and, and knocking you off balance. And then you just see... Fit, 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 <laughs> and it just crumples to the ground. <laughs> awesome. Give a little wave. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, Mizuti's got a turn you. yet as well. Right. Um, what is okay. she doing? What is her speed? Like, how uh, far 30. does she move? 30? Yep, 30. They can all just move 30. Okay. Um, there's not really any spot I can move her and get an attack on this Warforge, is there? Um, uh, it's kind of tough. Right. Um, I think, can you get anywhere, like, to the side of Fawn? I don't, I Because if not, so. then, like, uh, yeah, not, not really, like, Fawn's kind of blocking your way. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Um, can, can she double move past them and not attack attack opportunity? I think she can skirt the edge, yeah. Okay, then uh, she's gonna double move uh, past them and like get ready for uh, something that happens next, or if it runs away or something. Sure. Does uh, does Vi still follow? Yeah, she wouldn't be able to skirt around, so she just tucks in against the wall behind uh, Durian. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. She crouches low. She is almost invisible She's by already even low. Durian, who's not very tall. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So uh, I think the last swordsman um, uh, just just says to you, Durian, um, you should surrender. This is not a good option for you. <laughs> and he takes a couple of swings at you, uh, rolling a, I believe, that is an eight. 15 and a 13. Miss, miss. 20. 20 is the magic number for the dodge. Nice. Yep, he, he takes a couple of swings and, and just misses. In the meantime, the um, bowmen um, recock their uh, their arm crossbows and fire at Miss Nina Alia. Um, and they get, uh, let me make sure that's right, yeah, a 24 and a 22. That would do it. I think I think you're just getting peppered here, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So you take uh, six damage total. Three and three. To nothing. Hey, okay. It's nothing. Yeah. That's right. I'll just get some healing. Um. Do, and do now our dwarf. Potions? Dwarf, who is the only one left. Sorry, you guys might not be able to see that. Trust me, he's got a fourteen on the thing. So. He is next. He is dead. Never mind. I, was... I was gonna say. I was gonna say. What? Yeah. Dwarf? Sorry. What? What dwarf? <laughs> there aren't any dwarves here, fool. Um, I like how cool, you prefaced yeah. it. You prefaced it with, "Don't tr trust me. There's a dwarf. You can't <laughs> no, see him." And then you're the, like, "Wait." The one no, I took one. off the map, I put on the DM layer, which means I I'm the only one that can see his initiative, which I didn't know was a thing before now in oh, watching the stream. So that's, that's awesome. Enough. Oh, yeah. I could have told you that ages ago. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so, uh, Fawn, Thea, you two are up. for you. I just tried to move myself on the Twitch page. That obviously did not work. <laughs> um, 
At least it's not YouTube. You didn't pause the stream. <laughs> this is true. I'm pretty sure that was 60 feet. All right, so she's just going to keep moving. Um, and then... Oh, my connection to the server has been interrupted. Uh, uh oh, me too. Uh oh, no. Roll twenty might That's be right. done. I can, 20. I can still hear you. So, um. Yeah, well, but if roll twenty isn't working, give me a second. I'm, I'm refreshing it sure. to see if, uh, um, anything changed. Time to break out the real dice. Um, <laughs> okay. Those are on it's my card. Still up. It, no, no, there we go. I just got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. It says loading. Yep, same here. Well, I wanted to attack. If someone wants to roll for me, they're welcome to. Um, Alright, do we want me to do camera on the dice rolls? Yeah, yeah I mean, that's perfect. fine. Sure. It, do you uh, have Myth Weavers up for your bonus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so totally it is going to nice be... Shirt, uh, nice shirt. For Nasher's Tooth, it's going to be uh, D20 plus 13. Plus okay. 2. Plus 2, so plus 15. Alright, so you have a 4 on the die... So 19 total. So 19 is not quite enough. Okay, um, and then th uh, plus 10 for the second attack with Nasher's Tooth. Oof, a 2. Okay, that's not going to do shit. All right, so all over to the Rod of Ice. It's going to be a 15 again and then a 10 again. Okay. Oop. So okay. Uh, that's a 14 and that's a 9. Okay. So uh, 15 be... is, that's a hit. And then 9 was plus, what was your second plus one? Plus 10. Plus ten, so nineteen is going to be a miss. Okay. Um, so so you get him with the first one. D six plus D four plus three. Is that with my plus two mm -hmm. that I gave you? Okay, good. Okay. D six so, plus D four plus three. So five and three is eight plus another three. You said eleven. Yes. Yeah. Eleven. Um. Yeah. And there's some cold um, damage in there. Yeah. Yep. What does it look like when you kill this thing? Oh, man. Uh, I am going to say that uh, the Rod of Ice, uh, when hitting this this strange construct, um, gives off a kind of extra icy cold, uh, you know, glint uh, as it kind of cracks open the outer uh, metal shell of this creature. Um, and he, uh, you know, the lights kind of go off in his eyes and he crumbles. Nice. Yeah. And dies. Yeah. <laughs> and dies. Or is destroyed, depending on your um, opinion of construct life. Are they real people? Are they not? Tune in They're next time. That's true. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah, you, you obliterate this, uh, this last one. Unfortunately, I stupidly hit reload rather than just using the site while it was still up. Um, so now I don't know whose turn it is. Yeah, mine's just <laughs> loading dot dot dot. Um, yeah, mine's loading. I think it Actually, was... Actually, no, uh, Thea has a turn still. No, she just mm. moved. I double moved as her. She I, did okay. double move. Okay. I believe if Nina already uh, went, it'd be Durian than me. Uh, no, it was um, me next. I got my turn order up. So here's what I'm gonna okay. do. I it? am going to, uh, pop up the stream that oh. we are doing... And I'm going to look at the turn order as I pause it, and I am going to note that down. Um, so we had, uh, and positions, it's really everyone's just over by Nina and Kendra. Um, so we had uh, the Bowmen, and they're the only ones left. Um, so I guess, uh, I guess this is fairly trivial at this point so um what i'm gonna say is um nina how do you and, and kendra dismantle these things and um how does caben help you okay um so what's gonna happen is kendra's going to walk up to the both of them and block both their swords uh well caben puts a couple of arrows in the back of the knee which makes them fall down and I'm just gonna cut the heads off. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so we we see a couple of like super long range, they just dip in like thunk, just shots to the legs, sort of disabling these things. Kendra uses her sword and sword and shield to, to tie up their uh tie up their arms, keep the crossbows uh engaged, and then Nina just goes behind and thwap. And that's it for the uh, for these enemies. Um, nice. I think it's a good time for us to kind of just RP out sort of what happens in this mine. So I, I think the uh, 
the last two construct heads roll onto the ground. Um, and there's a, a stillness in the air. Um, all of the noise from rocks being moved, from pickaxes and shovels hitting dirt and stone, um, of shouting and uh, and constructs and, and weapons, um, all of that dies down. And I think in the stillness, uh, you guys mostly are still along the rim or some of the upper areas. Um, and you look down and you see just um, uh, little kobolds and, and goblins and uh, a couple of orcs and elves here and there. Just sort of like peering out from behind rocks and carts and, and piles of, uh, of machinery. Um, just trying to see what happens next. So what do all of you do? I, I can say before, I mean, people can say that, like people are shocking. I immediately am running down to, uh, to Nephany. Yeah, I, I'm already heading down that being the closest. Well, and I, um, I ignore the prisoners. And I call back to our party, too, and I say, we need to regroup. Nina? Medic! Yeah, Nina, get <laughs> over here. Like, yeah, I, I'm calling yeah. out, I'm just calling out directions, um, telling us to assemble along this back wall, basically, near the entrance. Travis, is Nephany the only, because you just said elves, is Nephany the only elf there, or... Um, I, I think you see one maybe, like, uh, peering out from uh, the rim of a tunnel. Uh, maybe there's a, a second one, um, sort of amongst a crowd of, uh, of kobolds. Um, but you don't see many of them. The, it looks like the workers are starting to kind of come out of the tunnels here and there. Um, you see a few of the, like, kobolds grabbing, you know, their pickaxes and shovels and just hammering these constructs or the, the dead dwarves. Um, some of the goblins are giving up a, a cheer, um, but but most everyone else is a, a bit subdued. Um, and yeah, I, I think because uh, Nina doesn't actually know any of these people, right? Uh, no. Just no. besides what Durian said, as we're heading, in that one of them was an acquaintance. Yeah, and I I didn't That's wax I I, I, did, I did not wax poetic, but I do. Um, I do call over to you. You know, I'm I'm basically ignoring them. Yeah, and and Durian, I, I think I think you're probably gathering up like um, you know, Mizudi and, and Violet and uh, and the people around you. And um, are you heading like to the the back tunnel, um, the the one that the Minotaurs went out? Yeah, and I'm I'm checking out first the the wizard dude or whatever he was, sorcerer. Yeah, um, and ah, uh, uh, yeah. Giving him a search and looking for anything useful. He looks like most of his pants were recently burned off. Uh, there was a bit of a fireball incident, you may mm-hmm. recall. Um, but yeah, he, he looks like this um, uh, wizened um, older dwarf, uh, tattered gray beard, kind of singed and burnt. Um, he, he looks like he came to a rather gruesome end. What are you looking for specifically? So he was clearly like a, uh, to call it something of like a captain of the guard here, someone in charge. Yeah. I'm looking for anything important, um, orders, sure. paper form that might have survived. Um, yeah, I, I think you're digging around uh, his body, um, and you find like partially uh, uh, melted, um, uh, partially melted, but. Um, half of it's still very recognizable. A, um, a silver, like, holy symbol around his neck. Mm. Um, and it's one that you've seen before uh, inside a, a fake holy symbol. Oh. That belonged to an old friend. Oh, shoot. Two, two, so, two. Kevin, yeah, can a, you enlighten me a little a bit? S- uh, a skull and sickle in silver. Um, you, you would, uh, Durian would recognize it. So we as, found uh, something. We found a holy Kevin. symbol on Venric. It was like a wooden, uh, nice oh, wow. holy Gosh. symbol. But when you took it apart, there was the, this one underneath that was like encased in silver and metal. Much more, uh. Jeez, that was forever ago. Venric. <laughs> you, you see the, the skull and sickle symbol of, uh, Nerul, the god of death. So, so then, 
<laughs> what I already had confirmed. I look around for anything because because magical items can be a little bit hardier. I look around for something on his person that looks less damage than one would expect after getting blasted by fire. Yeah, you You know what? You I quickly I, I I cast detect magic. It's fine. Like as a cantrip or whatever. Sure. Yeah, you you check him out. Um and and cast detect magic. Um and as you're looking, you see some uh, uh, uh some vials in his pocket and mm. you pull out um two uh potions. Um, and they're, it's pretty obvious to you. You've seen them tons of times. They're healing potions. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, so these nothing. are potions of... Uh, potions of stuff. Woo. Yeah, potions <laughs> of... Travis is like, I, I put it in roll 20 and I don't remember. <laughs> no, it's uh, because it, they're different um, between editions. So, um, uh, I think it, I think they are potions of greater healing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Got it. I pocket those. Do, um, we, do yeah. we know what those are in terms of mechanics? Yeah, I can... Yes, we've dealt with them before, so. Uh... I recognize their uh, greater restoration. No, that's that's the no, spell. Healing. Excuse no, me. No, sorry. Uh, cure moderate wounds. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's the yeah. So each of them um, does two d eight plus ten. And I've had these potions healing. before, Kevin. So I would recognize yep. them. Sure. Yeah. I was yeah. I was curious. Yep. So you you know they'll both do two d eight plus ten healing. Nice. Two d eight plus ten. Wow. Time to hoard them for another thirty sessions. Oh boy, you're not you're not getting another thirty <laughs> sessions, buddy. <laughs> no, I I I uh I mean, I think I call over and I say, yep. Nina, I've, I've got your uh, your antiseptic right here. <laughs> yeah, and yep, I, I think while while Durian's. I, I think while Durian um is kind of ruffling through the bodies, uh, Fawn, what are you and Thea doing? I imagine you, like, ran up, because you were closer to Durian. Right? Um, I would probably be um, with Thea, trying to just kind of talk and keep myself focused on not uh, straying from the plan and, you know, sullying these uh, forged ones. Yeah. Um, so I would probably just be, you know, trying to be on my best behavior and trying not to look at them and trying not to let the anger kind of take a hold of me and, Flow you know, you. it's, it's not going to be Jesus take the wheel. It's just going to be Fawn is taking the wheel and trying to be calm. Um, <laughs> okay. so nice. talking to Thea about old times or something like that. Yeah. I, I think she looks over and sees, cause you were always more of a berserker than she was, right? Yeah, yeah, she was kind of the calm one, and I was just like the, you know, run free and, you know, kill things when it's yeah. time to, you know, I was a scout when I needed to be, but most of the time it was like, I'm gonna kill things. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think she looks over at you and says, uh, keep it calm, Rook, we're almost out of here. There may be more of these things ahead, at least one of them ran out. No, we're not. We're not <laughs> almost out of yeah. here. I've got, like, the blinders on, and I'm trying to, you know, look at the wall and not look at, you know, the fallen um, creatures, things, if you can even call them creatures. I think she laughs and says, don't worry, Rook. I'll let you smash them up once we uh, finish with their boss. And she gives like, you, yep. like, a like a rough kind of elbow, <laughs> like, to knock you out of your reverie a bit. She yeah. says, come on, let's check out that tunnel. And she starts uh, moving ahead. <clears throat> Um, and then at the same, <laughs> no, no, like just going up to the tunnel and looking through it. Um, and I, I think at the same time, um, Nina and Kendra are, are kind of heading down the pit, but I think, I think we see Caben like practically leaping past you. Yes. Um, and you, you I mean, both was... like, yes, yeah, yeah, but, but you, you both like hit the floor at the same time. Um, and, and what do you do? I run to Nephany and I mean, shackles it, off her, help her up. Yeah, like, close yourself, Travis. I tell Kendra to go to one, I go to the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think Nephany's the only one down here. Um, but there's some, like, along the uh, the rim that are coming out and, like, walking towards you. 
Um, but yeah, okay, uh, I'll Haven, head you... ones. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you like head along the uh, the um, second tier while Caben, you get to the bottom, and uh, and it's yeah, it, there's Nephany there. She's got um, uh, all the prisoners you see have um, manacles. Um, they're like uh, they can't hold their arms much further than this, and they're kind of like arms are chained to the legs. Um, and you can see from the like chafing and and kind of crusted uh scarred over um blood that that obviously she's been chained up for quite some time yeah. and i i think like she looks over and um instantly recognizes you i hope so. uh, i think she stands up and is a little hunched from her chains and says uh caben caben what are you oh thank the gods Nephew, what are you what are you doing here what we've it's been months. We, we've been here. <laughs> they raided. And she, like, awkwardly as hell, just, like, gets you in close and, and just pulls you into a, a very strange embrace. She's all Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm giving her a hug. Um... I didn't think we'd ever leave here. Get, can, can you get me out of these? Yeah. I haven't um, been able to stand up properly see. in four months. So, Travis, I have I have my uh, adamantium cursed rapier. Can I like at the very least like break them apart so she can like separate your hands or something? Or... Yeah, try try not to nick her. I mean, that's what I'm not like Don't sliding spill it. Any blood. I'm not sliding it like into her like wrist. I'm like the part yeah. holding them together. I break that apart. Yeah, no this this rapier is made to like puncture metal and stone. Yeah, so so you get her to like put it onto a, um, uh, you know, a, an a rock anvil or a, cart or, or, something. a rock, yeah. yeah. And you just plunge the rapier in, and um, after a few stabs, yeah, you, you break apart the manacles. Okay. Um, and she says, thank you. I, Oh, oh, my back. Oh. Uh, thank I, you, Caben. And for, for fear, how, the same thing. I do the same thing for her feet, but... Yeah, you, you break them apart, and she says, yeah. how did you get here? What's been going on? Oh, it's... <laughs> oh. Listen, Nephany, we're, we're here We're here to end the Black Fang. We, I didn't know you were down here. We, we knew some people were down here, prisoners, but I didn't know you were, but I'm glad... She, she, she nods and says, thank you, thank you. I, I'm... How, how do you know her? We've had some dealings. A few run-ins. We didn't know who she was. At um, what do you know? You said you're here to end the Black Fang. Yeah. And she kind of like looks at you confused, like the dragon. Yeah, that's her. Okay. Do you know anything about her alter ego? Her alt. Oh, the. The woman, the human woman, with the dark hair and the olive skin. And um, she nods and says, I've seen her walk through here a lot. Okay. I don't think she can... Well, the last time she came through here, she was her normal... Oh, God, that just popped in. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? The music. Uh, and we're five, back, roll ladies and gentlemen. Roll, roll twenty music just popped in my ear. Oh. <laughs> uh, I apparently hashtag... refreshed at the right time because I didn't for me. Yeah. Maybe the wrong yeah. time. Oh, um, geez, okay. The controls are broken. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we're fine. Jeez. Um. Yeah, I, I think she she nods and says, "I've seen her before. Never forget that look. The dark hair, dark eyes." And uh, and and she describes um, a very clear picture of Lady Nefish. Yes. Yeah. All right. Confirmation. <laughs> conspiracy solved. Yeah. Whole part of it. Oh. Okay. Hashtag exactly. conspiracy. Yeah. Well, that's true. Maybe she's just for sure. Anyways, I so I, I nod and say, yeah, we. Uh, how how many days has it been since we uh, had that battle back in? When she dive bombed us in the ceremony, 
Um, couple of weeks at least. Okay. Like yeah, you've I... been traveling and gathering information. Right. I say we, we, we had a run with her a couple weeks ago. Listen, it's she's, she ambushed some of the, uh, some of the council, and it's it's not good. But we're here, we're here to end it. Um, can you can you walk? Can you get out? I can hobble. I'm sure. Anything to get out of this. Hell. I and, uh, I think I think we'll be able to make our way out. I don't feel like any of them. And she like nods at the at the kobolds and the goblins and various other creatures. Hey, puppy. Um, I I don't think they'll stop us. They'll probably come with. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you need? Dog cam. Nina, do you still have my boring longsword? Yeah. Um, and uh, if you can hear this, Travis, um, yes. what sort of Haven was doing, if the mm -hmm. other elves are in shackles, I'm going to tell them to stay very still, and I'm just going to power attack the crap out of them, break them, sheer nice. force. Yeah, I, uh, yeah I, I think they're uh, a little dubious, but they're not about to argue with you. Um, and, and yeah, you, you cut through their shackles, manage to free them. Um, don't take any limbs off in the process. <laughs> That's good. Uh, um, so I'm essentially asking, like, uh, if Nephany, did, does she want a long sword for her journey out? She holds her hands out and says, I haven't used one in some time, but I don't think my muscles have gone slack moving rocks and swinging pickaxes. I dare one of those foul dwarves to get in my way. Now you're talking. All right. Uh, uh, well, listen. I don't. Um, I don't know if we can offer you any healing or anything if you need it. But we're gonna be moving on pretty shortly. It's best if, if you want the sword, we can give it to you. And but I'd say I give our directions in the way we came out and say go out this way and whatnot. Okay. So there's. A tunnel and a trap door into a swamp? Yeah, I, I know it sounds weird, and it's going to be weird for a few seconds, but once you're out, you're going to be in a swamp. Yeah. Um, she, she nods and says, I'll wait for you there. The rest of them can go, go if they want, but I want to see you on the other side. Okay. Um, if, we're not, if we're not back in some time, you should... You should go though, and I—I oh, I, I guess yeah. I fill her in because I guess she doesn't really have any place to go. I fill her in on where. Uh... Oh, shoot, what's her face? Where she's staying with other ladies' parents. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> my notes yeah. are somewhere. In, in Ariadne, yeah. Yeah, place. I mean, I know, oh, yeah, I know, I know you have far. your out. Run away with <laughs> Nephany. <laughs> yes. I know yeah, she is far. younger. I know it's super far, but she is like, younger. Her, I'm assuming her whole town is like destroyed. So I'm saying, if if you need a place, to get there. There should be some safe haven there. Yeah, um, yeah. Shoshana. You describe uh, Shoshana in the the capital with your um, baby mama. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So so yeah. You give her directions and basically the quickest way to the next city. Oh puppy. Oh, you look so sad. Um. Basically, the the way to the next city is is kind of going um, is going northwest, and that's kind of where um, you split up with Lasantha and, and took the rest of the uh, dragon killer women along with you. Oh yeah. God, web camera. Sorry. Okay. Um. So yeah, uh, you you tell her to flee. Um, Durian. Like this, this all takes a few minutes, and you're you're looting the guy, and uh, I'm not sure that he's listening right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think that uh, that that's probably a good spot for a break. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it, and I okay, think cool. we'll pick up here in a few minutes. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick uh, five seven minute break. Uh, please stay tuned. We'll be back to uh, see how this progresses, and uh, hopefully stop everything below. But then, thanks for watching. See you in a bit.